Hi, I'm Dolia of Honesty Europe and today I'm talking about difficulty accepting whatever is how my life is right now, uh, accepting what I'm lacking uh, in this question that I got uh, not having a partner, not having a, a man in her life, not having a family, kids. I think this is a important topic and indeed very typical for many of us like how I can just accept and even love and embrace whatever is even though some of the things in my life some of the circumstances around me are not ideal um, but yeah I, it's a tough one at times especially uh, when things don't go the way I want or there's particular hardship um, or things I cannot influence like like in this question, one point was that uh, anger towards uh, being ill, anger towards the disease, anger towards COVID for sure. Um, yeah, so I think this is a process of first acknowledging what there is and, and noticing what kind of labels we make to these things, what are sort of good stuff and what is the bad stuff or negative or stuff I'm sad about, angry about, and so on in my life. So rather than having this very abstract idea that, oh, uh, there is so much in my life I don't like, there is so much of things I cannot uh, influence, and so on. So it's kind of taking a stock. So what are the elements that I do like about myself, about my life, about my situation? And what are the things I do not like? What are the things I'm struggling with? And then out of that as well, like, what are the things I can change? What are the things that, that I actually chose and maybe choose differently or check in that, yeah, maybe still it, it is a struggle to have this job and I still choose to have it because there's a lot that I like about it too, or I like the money or I like the community at work or whatever it is. So being clear that um, not everything needs to be sunshine for us to make a choice. Um, and in this question also like anger towards destiny, uh, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I don't like the word destiny because it, it's like shows like it's just falling from heaven. What's going to happen to us. And it's kind of destiny that I find a partner or is it destiny? I don't find a partner and I'm single and I don't think that's really true. I think there, we do have a lot of impact in our life. Uh, there is few things we cannot, of course, have an impact on, like to which parents we were born, in what country, uh, what school our parents put us to, and so on. And we have tons of choices, especially as adults. Well, as kids, less so. But as adults, and I do hope that kids would have more choice, and we as parents would allow the kids to actually start to make active choices. But that's another topic for another video. I couldn't help myself. I, I find very passionate about that, that actually we are all human beings and we all should have, in my opinion, a say about our life and a lot of things about our life. So being angry towards destiny, I would say that, okay, acknowledging that such thing as destiny doesn't really exist. It might sound Fun, and then we see all these like romantic movies well oh we just ended up in the same cafe in a rainy day and or yeah there, it started rain and somebody gave me the umbrella and wow then we started talking and there was this great connection yeah sure in, in movies in books and in real life it tends to be far more messy a lot more complex we might meet somebody we're not sure at first we get to know them better yeah I like to want to be with this person oh they are with somebody else or they don't choose me or we struggle and then we find a way I mean this is life life is not only pink class and fairy tales there's beautiful moments in life and they can be love and connection and then there's real work real work looking at myself how can I ensure I'm living the life I want what kind of active choices am I making to take care of me and noticing that when I don't make a choice, I just sort of drift or let other people to choose for me. And that's a choice as well. Um, and expanding our kind of 
capacity to experience different things, expanding our surroundings and circles of trying new things, meeting new people. Um, so I think we have tons of choice and especially we, the privileged people um, in Europe, in the Western world, we have so much opportunities. And sometimes I, I get it, it's hard to see them. And I definitely have days when I'm feeling sorry for myself and catch myself like, oh shit, I'm feeling sorry for myself. And then allowing myself a moment to indulge myself in that. And then, okay, now it's enough, wake up. So yeah, I think to summarize, there is no destiny. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to wake you up. It doesn't exist. And there is some things we cannot impact. So there is a choice. Do I fight ongoingly against the things I cannot change? Or do I just accept them, look at them, try to even embrace them, find the learning in them, find it maybe even the beauty in them? And then two, making active choices. What do I want? What do I don't want? And noticing that a no can be a very powerful choice to open windows for something else. And yes, when I truly find a yes, when I'm scared, it can be also a very important, powerful choice. And these are the things uh, you will learn in our workshops with Honesty Europe. So if these things of accepting what is and even loving what is, embracing what is, learning from what it is, if that is calling you, uh, check it out. I'm Dulia of Honesty Europe. Ciao.